What's up YouTube? Geo Badger here bringing you guys another geocaching related video. And yeah, I know it's been a while since my last video. Just been really busy and it's been really hot. So, you know, fall's approaching, so the desert's finally cooled down and it's not as windy as it is as it usually is here. So, today we're out here geocaching. Although I'm not exactly searching for any caches, I am hiding one. Hmm, I hear a dirt biker out in the distance. Hmm, looks like he's coming this way. I'm trying to hide the cache behind me or something. Actually, I'm just sitting on the ground. That way he doesn't get suspicious, wondering why I'm carrying this rocket in my hand. There he is over there. Alright, so I'm set I'm second guessing this cache I made because given that it's such a bright color, I mean the paint scheme looks really nice. I probably should have made it a more camouflage color because now people can probably spot it from a distance. And the whole one of the whole points of uh you know placing the cache is that you know muggles can't find it. So looks like we're gonna have to uh uh use some of the surrounding here to sit there and try to hide this thing. Over there would be an optimal area to hide this cache because uh, there's lots of rock formations and things like that. But that's Edwards Air Force Base property, and it'll be a federal crime for me to climb their gate and hide a cache. Plus, it'll make it difficult for another cacher to actually find it, and I don't want anybody to get in trouble because of me. So, I'm going to try to find a nice spot for this one, and I'm, I'm thinking maybe somewhere on this area alongside this hill that's off this trail I can probably put in one of these bushes where it won't be easily spotted so sorry I'm trying to see if that guy's coming back this way I know that there's a RV encampment way I'm trying to zoom in but it's way over there and then there's some houses over there so hopefully no one sees me up here and gets curious and come looking after I leave this area so I'm going to go ahead and walk over here and try to find a reasonable spot to hide this. I wanted, hmm, I wanted so you know a caster can find it, but I'm also also have to hide it so no one else that just happens to be passing by to find it. Wow, I really put myself in a conundrum here. I really should have went with a better color scheme, but I was looking for you know cool factor. But this is the cache. As you can see, it's attached to a rock. The rock is uh, meant to go underground, so. Shit, here. Oh, excuse my language, but now here comes that dirt biker. He's back this way. That way. Hmm. That looks like he's having a ball, huh? Anyways. Where do we pass? So I'll keep continue walking. All right, all good. Okay, so we're gonna head out this way and try to place this. Now let's see. Wow, him, us, you know. But yeah, I know it's been a long time for, since I uh, posted a video. Uh, things have just been too hot. Started another job. Um you know daddy duties and things like that so is and it's just been every time i've came out here i actually been out here uh maybe once or twice before and i actually found i went back well you guys can't see it but back over these mountains here to find two caches and i was in there deep inside the desert quite deep and um for one it was 108 degrees and also windy so every time when i brought out my camera to record it for you guys yeah the wind would just the wind would just mess up the audio and that just tells me I need to get a better camera. Also, uh, the heat, the heat will cause the camera to malfunction and it was just, it was really an issue. So those videos are long gone, they, I deleted them. And so, and I planted a cache over there also, a nice one, a very nice, uh, nicely camouflaged and everything. Um, but yeah, as I said, it's just, it's just been 
real horrible for me to sit there and geocache lately. Um, hmm, this looks like a nice spot. Probably can use this rock at the back. Yeah, I think we'll do this. Dig deep and dig deep and push it in there. I think push it into the ground and cover it up. I think that'd be be a good good thing to do. I think that'll be um I think that'd be a wise decision. So so anyways over this mountain here where that dirt biker was heading, there's actually an abandoned house back there. And it's the weirdest thing ever because um it's just sitting in the middle of nowhere. And the last time I was back there, you know, on the treasure hunt, well, on the cash hunt, well, same thing. I stumbled across it, and I was just like, what is this house doing back here? It's a huge house back there. And um, I went to the group for my, uh, for my little city, well, town, and I asked about it. And apparently the gentleman who, who owns that house, yeah, he actually messaged me. And he told me that he built that house back in almost the 80s. And... It's a to it's a it's a off the grid house. He's already hooking up solar. I don't know how he's doing the water thing, but he's definitely hooking up solar and um, using propane. And it's totally off the grid. And it's in a nice little valley that's just beautiful. Really wish I still had that footage to actually show you guys because I actually went there. He also has his house decked out in all these camera systems, watching people who comes onto his property because he doesn't want anyone on his property. Of course, I didn't go into his property. You know, I respected his property. I stayed off uh, what I guess was his property line. And I just took a few pictures and um, and uh, hit a cache, of course, off his property. And I was on my way. But it was just really interesting to see a house. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was just really interesting to see a house so deep in the desert that looks like it's furnished. He also told me a lot of people come back there to break into his house and steal uh, material like copper and things like that out of it. So... I see, I understand why he has so many security cameras and he asks people to, you know, just stay off his property. So that was an interesting thing that happened. Um, I think I may have some pictures of the house still and I'll, I'll put them inside this video so you guys can at least get a look about what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig a hole and plant this in there and try to make it, um, try to make it in, uh, as hidden as possible from anybody that may, may be traveling this road or, I mean this trail or anything like that. So let's see if it works out. Oh, there goes the dirt bike here again. Oh, oh my bad. That's that guy's just he's riding a mountain bike. All right. All right. So I'm gonna get this thing hidden, and I'll be right back. What's up, YouTube? I'm back. Okay, so things didn't go exactly as planned. Well, how I picture them, anyhow. Uh, so this is the cache. And yeah, I know, right? It's like, wow, is that the best you can do? That's a crappy-looking cache. Yeah, this isn't how I actually pictured it would be. Um, but one thing, though, um, if it gets stolen, I'll just archive it, and, you know, someone can keep it. I mean, it didn't cost me money to build these things. Pretty much everything that's on this cache was made with a uh, refurbished... Uh, materials that I just found laying around so pretty much just scrap you know I just repurposed this into this cash so I wouldn't be losing a lot I think the paint I put on there costs more than any other of the materials I made this thing with so I mean it's okay if somebody takes it I mean hey kudos you stole like what like three dollars I, I guess and I mean I guess it'll look nice on the tabletop but anyways this is what I came up with. I mean, I really wish I had brought some quick concrete or something to pour into the ground to hold it in place and things like that. But I think this rock will be able to do, be able to hold it down there. And it's kind of low to the ground. That someone from looking like from over there probably would not spot that very well. And I don't know about around here, but we'll try our best to fix that too. Well, I'll try my best to fix that. Um probably build up some rocks around it or something maybe that'll maybe that'll help it out we'll see we'll see probably should have found a better spot with uh more bushes like over there but uh i'm not superman i can't lift this rock which i'm pretty sure weighs a ton okay so anyways enough of that so this is how the cache works it has these little tabs right there that the cacher who finds it 
and I'm pretty sure they are going to find it. They just swivel the, they just swivel them to the side, and this opens up. Painted this myself to make it look like a microchip. I didn't have time to paint the inside, but it has a pencil so they can sign a log. And here they just have to pull the makeshift warhead out. And there's the log and a couple pieces of swag. So just put that back in here. Put the pencil. Oops. Let's put this back. Swivel these. And there's four little tabs that they have to, you know, move. And it just helps to stay locked in place. All right. So I'm going to try to cover this up a little bit more. Um, the thing with this cache is that it's supposed to simulate um, unexploded ordnance. You know, if a, uh, if a warplane drops a bomb or fires a missile that turned out to be a dud and impacts the ground and just sticks in the ground. And at that point, it's just unexploded ordnance. So I think that might be, I think that is, I think that is the name I might choose. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But that was the, uh, that was the whole getup of it. These fins are made out of balsa wood and they're glued on. This is capped and I painted this thing myself. Crappy paint job, but hey, it looks nice. This is made out of some, you know, some PVC pipe I have found. Um, pretty much everything on here I found on the ground. It was just scrap. Let me get this out of you guys' way. It was just scrap and uh, it's glued to that rock using like a cup link and some very powerful adhesives. So hopefully this works out. I think I might take a few of these stones and maybe put it around there or something. Maybe use that large rock and put it over here. Give it a little bit more cover so nobody, so nobody can see it from, you know, this area right here. So hopefully that works out. Hopefully it doesn't get stolen. But hey, like I said, if it gets stolen, I'm not losing a lot. And I'm pretty sure that the person who, who uh, stole it can use it as a nice uh, tabletop. Uh, centerpiece if they want to uh, get dirt and rocks and stuff all over their table that is and if they can find some do it but hey whatever nice tabletop piece for them and I'm not really losing anything I'll just rebuild it so uh, it's starting to cool down out here in the Mojave Desert it's not as hot it's not you know you know 110 108 109 and stuff like that the wind has finally down, died down a bit so I can actually record and so hopefully this fall and winter, if I'm not too busy with uh, work and, um, you know, in college, hopefully I can get back out here and bring you guys a lot more content, a lot more videos, and I can get deeper into this desert and, you know, we can go and find some crazy caches because according to my map, there are some caches that are deep in there. And I don't think, um, I don't think the car can get back there in some, some of these places. I actually went after a cache not too long ago. And I was deep in deep in that desert. I mean, I mean back roads for real. And I ran into an area that was just that was just straight sand. And luckily I was going fast because had I not been going fast, the car would have got stuck in sand. And so, I, so right now currently I am working on a uh, project. I'm trying to build a uh, an off road mini bike. I already got the frame. Just need a couple more parts like an engine, throttle, and things like that, and tires. And so that way we can, you know, get a little more deeper into this desert and we can find some more caches that, you know, the car just can't get me into. So be going to look out for that. The videos be coming up soon once I finish this, uh, finish the project, you know, the mini bike I'll be showing you guys. I won't show you guys the process. Uh, that would take quite a while, but I will just, you know, unveil it the day that it's ready and things like that. So. I want to thank you guys for joining me for this video. I hope you guys are still watching, still interested. Yeah, I know I've been on a hiatus for a while, but hey, I'm back and um, I'm going to try to bring you guys some more content. So have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. <music>